Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com. And even though the intro says we are live, actually today's um, how-to video is pre-recorded. It is my Stamp It Demonstrator Group's blog hop today. Um, and, and for those not familiar with a blog hop, that is when um, a group of us get together. Um, we're Stamp It Demonstrators in my group, and we all have a common theme. We do this every month, and we share this month. It's holiday. We're sharing holiday projects. And mine, maybe you just saw it in the um, in the little intro there. I am going to teach you how to make these little pop up ornaments. These are actually they're a little um, they're a comeback. I did these many many years ago, um, and they are just awesome. They're so cool, and I, I have made tons of different ones to show you guys. Whoops, sorry, it's not. It's not popping back into its tag. There we go. Back to the tag. There we go. And it's that it's very, very quick and easy to make. So I'm going to show you how to make it in just a minute. Um, every month along with the hop, we also have a giveaway that I'm going to tell you about at the end of this video. It's a great giveaway. You're going to want to be part of it. The entry is going to be slightly different than my live video. So I'll tell you about that at the end. And lastly, you, after you watch the video, you're going to want to pop over to my blog, download the PDF I'm about to show you, mm. and take the blog hop tour with all of um, the different projects that we've made to share with you guys to keep you guys inspired this holiday season. Um, one more quick thing I want to share with you. It is Saturday. Um, this Monday, November 20th, Stampin' Up! is starting um, an online extravaganza sale that um, you can get to either on my blog or with your Stampin' Demonstrator. The information will be on my blog. When you click over to take the blog hop tour, you can get it there, and I'll have a link to it. But um, it's a great, fantastic sale, and the reason why I want to get the word out early is because Monday there's a 24-hour sale, and some items are while supplies last. And as you know, sometimes when things are while supplies last, man, they go fast. So you want to get on top of that, too. All right, so let's get started. Let I want to share with you how to make these awesome, awesome um, pop-up ornaments. And so <clears throat> they're very quick and easy to make. I have a PDF on my blog for you guys, as always. And these have not only pictures of the projects, it's got the measurements. And I even gave you a little scoring template here that I'm going to show you how to do, but the scoring template will help you later. So you can just pop over, over to my blog at the link in this video's description to download this for free. Um, also on here, I have the full supply list of everything, mm. not only that I'm using in the first project to, to demonstrate, but I also listed supplies in the projects um, of these bonus um, pop-up ornament tags that I made from using different projects. And I'll show you those after we create one. There's all kinds. I mean, there's so many different things. They're not just for Christmas. These are great tags to put on gifts and ornaments. And they are not just... It's not just a tag, it's a toy, <laughs> I like to say. It is so fun to just, I mean, literally, they just they, they just pop up and then they fold back down into these flat little tags that you can put on your gift, and then boom, when they open, I mean, you're not gonna wanna stop playing with these. And the thing is, they're so easy to make, you're gonna wanna make a bunch of them. So, let's get started. I'll show you how to make it, and then I'm gonna show you what I have over here to the side, all kinds of different ideas that, um, different, um, stamp sets and papers that I used with them to give you some more ideas. So mm. to get started, you are going to want um, five three by three uh, pieces of paper and um, two one and a half pieces of paper, whatever cardstock you want to use or designer paper. So for this one, I am actually taking the Year of Cheer designer paper and I've got two Whisper White end caps. Okay. So um, this is this is foil, gorgeous Year of Cheer designer paper here. Absolutely love this paper. And let me just, I've used so much of this pack I, I need to refill, but I want to show you the rest of the pack. I have done this same ornament in two different designs. This is the one I'm using today, um, but I'm going to show you another one I did using this one. It's super fun paper. I love this gold foil and the copper foil look on it. Um, and this is available in my online store and on in the um, Stampin' Up! Holiday catalog. That is called um, the Year of Cheer, and it goes with the Year of Cheer suite. So I pre-cut these. There's five of these. They're three by three. And we're going to take the... Um, now, your choice here. I'm using the Stampin' Up! Paper Trimmer, but you could also use um, the Simply Score tool. What you want to do is score each one, and I am actually going to zoom in here. 
just so you can kind of see it a little bit better. So what I'm doing is I'm measuring one and a half inches right here and I've got the scoring blade. So cutter is the dark one. The lighter gray is the scoring on this. And um, I'm gonna turn and score it both on the, um, on either side at one and a half, I'm sorry. Either side at one and a half here. And actually I'm gonna do it on the other side. It might be a little bit easier to see. Can you see the plus sign there in the middle? There we go, I'll flip it over and do it the back side so you can see the plus sign there. And then one more score. So there's three score lines per um, three inch block, three inch square. And the other one is on the diagonal and it doesn't matter which diagonal you choose. So what I did was I just lined up the two corners on the scoring blade and then, so we have a plus sign both right there. We've got our plus and then one diagonal. And we want to do the same, the same exact, I'm just going to back out here so you can see the whole square. There you go. I'm going to do that same scoring on all five of these pieces. So we're going to do the plus sign and then the diagonal. And <laughs> it's funny, I was making a whole bunch of these yesterday because I was playing with all the different designer papers and couple of different stamp sets, putting them together. And I got in this groove. I literally could start singing <laughs> as I was scoring. I was just having a lot, you know, just all of a sudden I was like scoring away. And it was, it was, it was kind of fun. And I'm kind of glad you couldn't hear me singing because it would have been really embarrassing. And our last one, again, one and a half inches here on the score to make a plus sign, one on either side and then one on the diagonal. So I'm gonna put the trimmer aside. All right, before we go up and fold these, um, since I'm doing a stamp, if I was doing a random stamp design, probably doesn't matter which way they go, but this particular um, snowflake that I am using is, um, I'm using uh, the medium sized Flurry of Wishes here. So I've got two stamp sets that I'm using. Um, it's this snowflake from the Flurry of Wishes and the words, Seasons Greeting and Joy, come from the Cheers to the Year, which also is in the same suite as the designer paper that we're using. I am using, um, well, I meant to grab Fresh Fig, but I grabbed Rich Razzleberry, so we're using Rich Razzleberry today. <laughs> I have Fresh Fig ribbon. I meant to do that, but that's okay. You guys will get the point. So what we're going to do is stamp this snowflake right smack dab in the middle and you know what this would have been um a great project to do if our stamp apparatus um was available which it is going to be very soon coming up next year if you guys missed that announcement it is the bomb.com in fact i want to say um their, their reservation si um, system opened up and i know this is um, a lot of you are really sad because it, it sold out in 15 minutes and people said, why didn't they order enough? Well, let me just tell you, first of all, the manufacturer can only make so many at a time and it's brand new. And I heard 27,000 sold out in 15 minutes. But the good news about that is, um, it <laughs> there's another window in two weeks. So December 5th, there will be another ordering window. So it, it's, not, it's not that that was the only time you could order it. That was just the first time. There are two more windows opening and then eventually we'll be able to just order them regularly. So nobody has missed out. <laughs> But wow, was that amazing. I'm like, man, I don't think the new iPhone 10 got that much. It sold out quite that quickly. It was just insane how fast that went. So I have done the same stamp motion. I stamped this, the snowflake on the center of five of these scored sheets. And while I've got this out, I'm going to... I like sponging the edges of them. I just thought that looked super cool. So I'm just going to sponge the edges with the same, well, I would have used Fresh Fig, but since I grabbed Rich Raspberry, that's what we're using. We're just gonna pretend it's Fresh Fig. Mm -hmm. And my apologies on my phone, dinging away in the background. <laughs> Sorry, I should have put it on vibrate, my apologies. On the bright side, we're not live and it didn't disconnect the broadcast, so <laughs> there's that. <laughs> we got that going for us this morning. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to do these two end caps. Mm -hmm. These two end caps are white. I'm going to do um, stamp the words in those. Whoops. So I've got the joy, and I'm just doing those in the center, but 
like at on the diagonal so like a like my, I've got this it's easier if you like line them up like a diamond shape to get those on there and I'm going to sponge the edges of those too and our stamping is complete you're going to die when you see how quick and easy these are seriously it's amazing how fast these go together okay so the next part we are going to um, fold, so let me just make sure I fold it correctly, okay. So I'm gonna fold whatever pattern I want to show in the center. So there's like um, an edge here, and for this particular one, I'm gonna have the metallic be the edge. So whatever I want to be the center, which in this case, it's the snowflake, I'm gonna fold that so it's showing on the outside. Now these two diagonal scores, I actually found, if you fold them backwards, this is the easiest okay so it's gonna go like this and then you're just gonna pinch in these two center pieces so it looks just like this so you have a little square with those two sides pinched in I'll show it to you five more times or four more times here we go so fold that diagonal backwards okay and then just push those two in Okay, so one more time, folding our plus sign and then folding the diagonal backwards. And then those two push right in. Plus, backwards on the, like again, you get in this mm -hmm. little rhythm and everything just kind of rolls. <laughs> and we got our plus. Folding that diagonal backwards. All right, so now we've got our pieces are all folded. And the, the one trick here, and you can do this now or you can do it when we start attaching, is you want them all to be facing the same direction. So see how they've kind of, they've, they've got four points, but they've got the two fold. Make sure the two folds are all facing the same direction. So next we're gonna take some tear tape because it's strong. And we're gonna put two pieces on the back of these two one and a half inch squares. And don't mind that one of my squares was scrap. Yeah, I used scrap to cut these up. So one of them I had stamped on and didn't like it. So I did something else and it became scrap. We save everything, right? So I'm taking two pieces of tear tape, two little strips. Now I'm gonna do that same two little strips on the top or bottom doesn't matter just one side of all of these all five of these sections I love this tear tape because you, no scissors necessary I mean this is like if you don't have to put anything down to reach over to grab your scissors or mess with the fast views which fast views and I are not friends so <laughs> I know a lot of you swear by it and say it's the best thing ever but for some reason we just don't get along so the tear tape is my friend okay now the, this very last section I'm gonna flip over and put the tear tape on both sides so adhesive on both sides of just one just one of the sections and we're gonna start with that one so the next step is to tear off that protective backing. Now I'm using the one that has back adhesive on the top and bottom. I'm only taking the adhesive off of the top. And now I'm starting with the, the rest of these sections. They only have adhesive on one side, the side that does not have the adhesive. I'm just gonna line it up again, making sure that it's facing, they're facing the same direction. And just, I find it easier to attach them when they're in a square because they just kind of line up pretty easy there and just continue doing that same thing with all of the sections peel off the protective backing and attach your next layer panel there we go i mean they're not perfectly lined up but they're yeah i mean they're fairly close there is some room for forgiveness on these Okay, 
So now we've got all five panels attached. How's that, right? <laughs> so quick and easy. So now we have um, still a covered adhesive on both sides here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from both of these end caps. Remove the adhesive backing. And remove it from one side at a time. I'm gonna do the same thing on both sides, but definitely just wanna do one at a time. So um, we've got adhesive here. We're gonna take our ribbon and about three quarters of the way up. So this is the bottom here and this is the opening here. So you want your ribbon to overhang on the opening. And then take one of these end caps and it doesn't matter which one, but make sure that it's facing the right direction there. The words facing up with the opening. And same thing on the back side. So we just remove that backing attach your ribbon, make sure it's facing the same direction as the other ribbon, and place our last end cap over that. There, so now our project is pretty much complete. That's all there is to it. Now, the reason we want this bead um, on here is to hold it closed. So it'll hold it open or it will hold it closed for you. Um, these beads I got at Michael's or any craft store, um, I, for some reason, I, they usually come in a tin, but I, I, I found these decorative ones hanging on the wall and they were kind of cool, so I bought those instead. But you can also get them online too. Um, and I am just going to, I, they're like thin mints, they come in sleeves, right? So I used a whole sleeve of them. I made so many yesterday. I was having so much fun. I'm going to warn you right now, they are a little addictive making these. So we're just going to take one of these beads off here. I, and again, they usually come in tens, whatever, whatever you want. You just want to make sure that whatever ribbon you use, um, the bead is, has a little bit of, um, resistance because, um, the opening, you know, like you don't want it to be too big on the beads. This is a standard one. Okay. So I'm just going to take these two ribbons and make them really tight at, at the top here. This is probably the widest ribbon I would use. And this is the fresh big, I think it's called cotton ribbon and just thread it through the bead and pull it down. So I've got both pieces threaded through at the same time. So now we've got our ornament and then all we do is pull that bead up. Boom, it's like a little accordion, folds up and push that bead down. Whoop, <laughs> I didn't mean to throw it around. But then you're tight, I mean, it is that, that simple, that easy to do. Now I'm gonna show you what I meant by the, the bead and the, the ribbon. So I was using the um, eighth inch ribbon on one of the ones that I made using, the, I used the same stamp sets here um, and, and really pretty here, but um, the ribbon was too skinny for this particular bead. See how there's a lot of give in that hole. So it doesn't actually hold it closed. It just, it, I called it the fail. <laughs> so you either, if you're going to use a skinny ribbon, you need tiny beads, or um, if you just use your standard beads, you want to use either this ribbon or the um, I think it's a quarter inch ribbon. Hold on. So see what happens. It just kind of popped open because the bead didn't hold it closed. So now I am going to show you some different samples. This one here is the, it's the year of cheer designer paper. Now I did two with that year of cheer designer paper with the flurry of wishes on the, showing on the front. This one here using the same fresh fig. I actually used, um, I like it, eggplant ink on this one, but the same ribbon. So it was a little bit darker purple and it's got on the inside, it's got that silver, really cool silver um, designer paper that's in that paper series. So there's those two. And then I, I got to playing with just, just stamp sets instead of using designer paper, just stamp sets. So this is that, um, it's Island Indigo Ombre ribbon. Look at how cool that ribbon is. Same beads here and just popped it open. I used um, Bermuda Bay and Marina Mist colors on this one. So Bermuda Bay is on the, you know, on, on this part here. And then I'm, I put the um, actual design on the in, on the edges of this one. So a little bit different design there. And then here's another one. This time it was Pear Pizzazz and Real Red. And I will have all of these um, supply lists both on the, on the PDF and on my blog at the link in the video's description. So this here is Real Red and Pear Pizzazz using the same stamp sets 
and then I stamped the um, I really like this one with the the stamped snowflakes on the on the edges of this one and then I got to playing with some designer paper now this one is the Christmas around the world designer paper it's in the holiday catalog so it it's it's kind of cool it's got some really fun patterns that all of them would have made great great colorful ornaments pop-up ornaments I, I, I went, decided to go with the, um, the nutcrackers and the plaid. It's nutcracker on one side and plaid on the other. So it's double sided designer paper. So I, I, there was no stamping on this one. So it's got the plaid on the inside and the, the nutcracker on the edges. And then I thought, well, it doesn't have to be for Christmas. These pop up ornaments make great for anything. So this here is the petal garden. Um, designer paper and this is in the big annual catalog really pretty designer paper again it's double-sided this is the sheet that I use for this particular one it's double-sided so no stamping except on the end caps of this one and I use the same fresh fig ribbon but when you open it look at the end look at the, the inside of that one how beautiful is that so pretty and again it's not even lined up in there and it's just gorgeous you, you don't have to fret and, and worry now this one's my favorite my friend's um, daughter was over crafting with me last night and she was 11 and I said, oh, you have to see these pop-up ornaments that we made. And so I said, do you want to make one? She goes, yeah. So I said, well, let's do something a little different. So this time, and this is from the big catalog, this is the foil frenzy designer paper. So I took that because I just, I love it. I love it. So there's some different colored um, metallic foil in this one. And I took the, it's, I think it's either pool party or Bermuda Bay here. Maybe it's pool party. And, um, I took that that pattern and the actually it's is it marina mist anyways it's got the marina mist ribbon ombre ribbon on it and look at this is my it, it turned out to be my favorite of all of them i love it i love the metallic on the outside i stamped um the same snowflakes on the inside and it's craft this particular designer paper let me show it to you it's it's craft instead of white so it gives you that craft look on the inside so beautiful so those are my quick and easy pop-up ornaments. I hope you love them. I hope you make a ton of them for your, your holiday mm -hmm. gifts to put on packages. It's that little special something. So here they are again. And again, um, pictures of them are all on my blog uh, at the link in this video's description, as well as the PDF on um, with all of the different combinations um, that I used here. So now let's talk about that giveaway. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, um, being it's Stampin' Blog Hop time, we have a giveaway, and it's a group giveaway. It is the Season of Whimsy Hostess stamp set, and this particular stamp set is a hard-to-get set. Um, it's only available as Stampin' Rewards for Hostesses, which you know you can get if you're in my VIP club, and you can also get um, if you're in my if you purchase from me and you have frequent buyer points to redeem, you can redeem them for hostess stamp sets. But they're very hard to get other than that, um, unless you host a workshop. So we're giving one away. And all you need to do is leave a comment on our blog post of our um, of our blog hop tour. It's actually, this tour happens on our blogs. I'm doing this how-to video for you guys. Um, but if you click on the link in it, it will bring you to the blog post and that's where you leave your comment to enter. And what's cool about this one is you can enter multiple times. You can enter once per blog hop, per blog on the hop. And, um, everybody has, everybody has a chance to win. We will draw the winner and announce it on our December blog hop, which is December 16th. So we will look forward to seeing you, um, back in December. Be sure to click over to my blog, get your free PDF get all the resources there and take the blog hop tour. Don't forget to leave a comment and don't forget Monday that big sale starts and there's 24 hour doorbuster sales on Monday that you're not going to want to miss while supplies last. See you then.